God. <gasps> okay, so I thought I would do a video today, which I don't think I've done this in a while, between Paula being here and those vlogs and, hi by the way, I haven't really said the proper official hi. Um, yeah, just the whole vlogs with Paula around and then I did a, Thing with her like the plus size video which a lot of you loved thank you I'm so glad you lot loved that video because Paula was like this before she went on camera um, and then I did um, a sit-down chat with Beth about vintage and then we went vintage anyway point I'm trying to make is it's been a while since I've just done a straight talk to camera and just sharing some things I'm looking at my bed that I have picked up recently um so i thought let me just go through them first up is this dress by Suzanne, um or suzanne i think it's pronounced the first one you already remember i wore the green one i love that dress so much they gifted me those two dresses so this one as well um, some of these items here i'm going to be showing in the video are gifted i picked them out myself and some of them i've bought so it's going to be a mix of both but i'll let you know what is what this one <sighs> Okay, I shouldn't make such a fuss about flipping pockets, but look, this is all. Oh, oh. Anyway, the reason I loved and picked out this dress is this square line. I love a good square neckline. Now it does button up all the way to the very top, I'll show you, but I just sort of like the idea of, so you can see it just buttoned all the way, it does, it works. I love the idea of just having one button undone. It's like a linen material, it's quite sort of fitted and structured, like here you can see it goes in and then it slightly balloons out a little bit where your hips are, if you can see what I mean, and then it goes down to midi length, like a long midi, there you go, right there. So, you know, it's just, oh, it's just the right, you know, Karen, Right, you know me by now, you know the kind of dresses that I look for and that I love. So I thought this was a fantastic summer dress. It's one of those pieces that I think will just last throughout the summers as well. I can't see this dating too quick. So I thought this was great. Oh, nice one to kick off with, nice one to kick off with. Okay. See, I don't know if I do by category or do I do by, God, it makes it sound like I've got a bunch of stuff. It's not that much, by the way. It's just little bits and bobs here and there, but I thought best to just put it into one video and show you lot now. And also the end of this video is going to be a giveaway announcement of a designer bag. So stay tuned for that. This is a, again, this was um, gifted to me from And Other Stories. Think about items that, I, again, I want to know them. I can wear them in a city, I can wear them if I'm going away. This is it, right? Very simple little summer top, nothing much to it. The reason I got this was because I like the idea of wearing it with, um, you know how I dress, either a midi skirt or with a denim skirt, whether a denim skirt in like a blue or even a black skirt. Okay, so I just bunged on an A-line black skirt just now. See, you know what I mean? That's why I took this one because it's really just a simple, simple summer top. You know, when you just don't know what to wear and you're just walking out the house and it's as hot as freaking dog's bollocks outside. Just like that, really simple outfit. Yeah, it's really easy. Just go out the door and you just put a bag with it. What bag would I do? The black beaded bag, right? The one from Zara, just something like that. That's cute. Yeah, oh, I like that. Just really simple. Yeah, I sort of like that idea. You know what I mean? Just something like that. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Just really, really simple, basic, out the door, or just the net bag. Just put the net bag on, hold on. Yeah, see, look, like you're just going shopping on a Saturday morning, and you just have this on. So you understand my thinking. This is what I'm. This is what is going on in my brain when I'm trying to like put things together and think about when I get these things. What am I planning? Like I said, these would also work with um, a midi skirt as well. It doesn't just have to be like this, but because it's so hot at the moment, I love the idea of just wearing something like this. Oh, oh! The next thing I want to show you is from and other stories. But look at these. They're high waisted. Look, they've got these little cute square outside pockets. The colour. You don't know how I feel about yellow mustardy colours, so. Anyway, look at these. They're wide leg structured jeans. 
slightly cropped as well. I'll show you them on, but I just thought I'd just quickly show you what they look like right here. See the pockets? I have them in the US 6. I'm just gonna bung them on actually with this. Yeah, shall I? Yeah, I'm just gonna bung it on with this. You know what, I'm just gonna do it right here. I can't be bothered doing the cutaway. Hang on. So this is them on, not bad. Not, not too shabby. Oh, they're so nice. I love how they fit all here. It feels like a sort of just a retro, almost 70s vibe jean, right? Like, you know, throwback to Farrah or Fawcett days. Um, and this is them on the back. Look how they just hug. They go in, they go in. Girls, they go in. For girls with hips and curves, these actually go in. Um, do they have back pockets? No, no they don't. It's completely smooth, look. So it's just got these two cute pockets on the front and that is it. These are adorable. They really, really are, I love them. I'll probably not wear them. I mean, I could wear it with this top, right? I actually quite like the look together. I wanna to say again about them. Oh, there's no stretch in them. Okay, so these are a rigid jean. Wide leg, rigid cut jean. No stretch. But the reason that I like them so much, <laughs> I should change out the lens so I don't have to go so far back. I just can't be bothered. I'm wearing ankle socks. How glamorous is that right now for a, a try on haul sort of video? Anyway, my feet were cold because we're in AC. So this is the bottom of them so you can see where they fall. So not bad, right? How glamorous is that with my socks? Now for curvy girls, obviously you want stretch and stuff. Um, one thing I will say, is that I do like, I'm impressed with the cut of these. Really impressed actually, more so than a lot of jeans that I have tried on. These are cut, they go like that, and they go like that. Yes, yeah, so you can see right there, just really makes your bum look really good. I love them. I got them in a US size six, um, and that is my true size on average across most brands, give or take, I tend to do that. Sometimes I order a US eight, because I like that, you know how I am, I like that oversized, slightly skimmy, loose look to things. If you're considering them, just know that you can get your true size and whatever you would get, um, and note that there is no stretch in them, but this is what you get, and I love this color. Anyway, I'm not gonna go on about the color, because you already know how I feel about it. I got nothing on under this, so I'm just showing you the scarf. <laughs> um, I picked this up, I bought this, I picked up two of them. I got one from Love Day 31, which is a vintage shop that I've mentioned on this channel numerous times. I'll insert their Instagram if you would like to have a look and follow them. The girl who works there, the woman is lovely. Um, so she has some amazing scarves. So I picked up this one, which is just, look at that pattern on it. This, and look at the clock. It's got a clock on it in the middle, right here. And I love this one because it makes me, God, this looks so bizarre the way I'm doing this. This one I like as well because um, it just reminds me of Cuba when I looked at it. I've never been to Cuba, but that was the vibes I got when I looked at it because of the, the writing it's got on it and just the pattern of it as well. It just has, it just screams as Cuba to me. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be wearing these scarves. So I basically lay it down and I fold it into a triangle and then I wear it as a top. That's really it. And then this part, see right? So that's like the point of the triangle that I just had. And you can obviously, you can just wear it like this, pointing down, but I don't. I just tuck that part under here. So now it just looks like a proper, just a strapless top. And this is the back of it. So you can see how it is tied up. Pile on some extra jewelry if you want, some gold. I like the way the gold goes with all these kind of rich colors here. And it's just a really easy way to wear a scarf, a head scarf. I mean, there's so many ways you can wear a head scarf. Um, oh God, there's another one. This is not just it, hold on, there's one more. I found it. I found the other one. Look, this, <sighs> this screams Versace. Do that, tie it behind, tuck it in, and you've got another one. These are the three vintage scarves that I picked up. These were from uh, No Relation. If you don't know about Lo No Relation, you need to. I'll link the video below where I actually found these scarves with B. Jones style, all right? So that video is below. This one was from um, Love Day Queen. Okay, next. 
Okay, so this is a dress that was um, kindly gifted to me from Veronica Beard. Now, I showed you the other Veronica Beard dress that I have worn, and I really love that dress. Um, I've always loved the ditzy tea dresses, and that to me is exactly what that dress is. I love the contrast stitch on it, and again, it's almost like the Cezanne dress in... Um, the cream but this is black the material is much thicker it does have stretch to it right I don't usually wear stuff like exactly like this with that contrast stitch but I I was just instantly drawn to it but as soon as the temperatures start to cool down again like around September well whenever they cool down I'm definitely going to be putting this on polar neck under this maybe in like a cream color it's a nice autumnal look and then you put the boots the long uh, knee-high boots that disappear under the dress underneath the dress you know what i'm i could just <sighs> i know you can visualize it just as i can but i can just imagine that oh then you put the coat on top of that oh i can just oh i can see it now so what do i show you i'm going to do the dress hold on it is a vintage dress let me just show you so you can see, look at this, look at this dress. Oh my God. I showed you a little bit of it as an insert in last week's and last in Tuesday's video, look. This is such a carry dress. The zip stops at my waist. It actually zips all the way, but Paula and I came up with the idea. I was originally just gonna do lattice, like find something like this similar, and then just have a, um, a tailor just do like lace up, like tie it like a lattice effect here because it's a little bit too tight on me. That's one idea that you could um, definitely try. But she said, why don't you just do this? Because the, this is where the zip stops on my waist. And she just, saw, she just hand sewed down this into a V shape and just left it like that. So the back has got, anyway, let me just put this on so you can see, but it is, look at this, right? Oh my God, this is why I like vintage so much. Anyway, I found this at Beacon's Closet. Um, and let me put it on for you now so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the dress on. <laughs> it's so different. I kind of like that it sticks out, I almost feel like it's supposed to. But anyway, apart from that area, this is such a, yeah, I probably will actually. Yeah, just like to bring it down, just, just there, like that. Look at that. <laughs> I remember when I was with Paula in the shop and she's like, I showed it to him and look at this dress, Paula. Yeah, I just need to fix this because this looks really weird. Don't worry, I will address the bust area. But when I showed it to her, she's like, you got to try that on. I was like, yeah, I got to try this on. I have to, have to, have to. And this is the back. And I just thought, I like the idea of just wearing it as like an open back dress instead. I like the idea. I think it's really a bit different. Not what you would expect. And I think it works. Like the very carry Sex and the City dress fine, but I'm not gonna do like Carrie and wear like click clack 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 click clack in, in heels. Just a pair of like gladiator sandals and I'm going to bum on like a pair of like old boots, like my Doc Martin boots. Cause I have to always just wear what speaks to me in terms of making it Karen. And I've always said that on my channel. You know, fashion is about making it yours. And style is something that you don't really have to, you already have it. Um, have your own innate sense of style and then fashion is about tweaking the item to, to come to that yeah so for me I would take this and I would turn it into something that's much more tomboy this is such an unexpected thing that you wouldn't you wouldn't expect me to be turning up in a dress like this would you if I was going anywhere but then you'd look at my feet and go oh yeah okay so that is Karen right don't make the items wear you always the other way around okay let me just hold it up for you. You already know this skirt. Realization Pa Naomi skirt. I love this. It just came in. As you can see, the tag is still on it because it literally came in the day that I was setting up the camera to shoot. So the timing of it could not be better. Um, leopard print and me, we go way back. And before I even blogged, I was into leopard print. It is an absolute staple and a classic in my wardrobe and in my, with my taste. Anyway, so this skirt, it's just fantastic. I've wanted it for a while. It finally came back into stock and I grabbed it. 
Um, you will also see this skirt featured on a series that I've started to do on my Instagram TV. I've been struggling like what to do on Instagram TV because it's such an overlap, it's video, and it's such an overlap in my opinion with Instagram stories, which is a video format as well, plus YouTube, which is also video. So it's like, what the hell do I do with Instagram TV? So I'm doing a series. It's called, uh, where did you get that? Because that's the name of my blog and it always has been. And I used to be a street style photographer. And I have always been a nosy parker and I've always loved going up to somebody and go, oh, where did you get that skirt? Or where did you get that hat? You know, and I just strike up a conversation with people that way. And I've been doing that for years. OG followers, you lot know. Um, so I decided to bring back that, where did you get that series? On the spot, street style videos. And I'm just stopping them on the street and going, where did you get that so-and-so? There's something that I'm drawn to that they're wearing and I'm just doing a series of it. That's sitting on my Instagram TV. You can have a look at it right now. It's, it's there, it's permanent. It's always there at the top of my profile. Um, yeah, and have a look at the first one. Let me know what you think. But I'm trying to make it a weekly-ish series. It's actual street style. Someone who really was just going out on her lunch hour to get a sandwich. And I just quickly shoot her. That is what my Instagram TV series is. Anyway, the point of that was there was a girl on there and she had uh, this skirt on and it was Realization Pa. And it's so funny because I was like, that looks like Realization Pa. But I had to ask it anyway just to confirm and it was. <laughs> kind of milk maidy. Um, but I love this top. Oh, I think it's 100% cotton. Point is the skirt. Okay, right. So this is how one way that I would style it. Um, just like this really really simple and I like the idea of the whole skirt showing make sure the label is in is it yes it is yeah so that's it great it's a satin silk or 100% silk I believe I probably just again I would just dress it down with like basic flats or with converses sneakers that is who I am I'll I don't know if I'll ever change anytime too soon. Um, but I think this skirt is really dressy enough that you could also turn around and wear it with a pair of heels. But I like the satin 90s throwback of this, that kind of like bias cut. So it's got a really nice look when you're walking and it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful skirt. It really is. And you can wear this off your shoulders as well. Wait, so you get a good idea of how this looks on, but this is, oh, God. <gasps> jewelry I've just been getting some more jewelry this one is just this simple earrings nothing much going on just these basic small hoops I love the the size of these hoops because they're not too big they're not too small they're just the right size that I was looking for um, they're a little bit thicker as well so it's just what I was after I picked these up from um, I'll put his Instagram on the screen but he doesn't post on his Instagram he sells and I'll tell this is for the New York girls he sells outside the Baltasar restaurant in Soho on Spring Street. You'll see his stall outside there. He has like all these gold jewelry. This is from him as well, this nail cuff. Some people think it's Cartier and it's not. This is from him and his stuff doesn't turn either. I've had this for like, what, months now and I'm still wearing it, it's fine. Um, and I just picked up these earrings and I know my friend Paul, I took her over to see him and she picked up something. Anyway, he has great work. I'll insert a picture of this horn necklace that he has that just came in in wood. Anyway, go and have a look. Tell him that I sent you Karen Richard, the English blogger. He'll know who you're talking about, but I don't know him. Like we're not friends or anything, but um, I just, I love the quality of his work. So just wanted to give him a shout out. My goodness, support locals for God's sakes for a change, not just big chain stores. Also, I got this uh, large scrolly, um, like freehand style K initial necklace. It's slightly oversized. This is Brooklyn Charms from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. And yeah, it's just a charm place really. You walk in and you just see a sea of charms. And so I saw this K and I really liked it. So I thought, let me just put it together. So I just took the K and I saw a chain length that I liked and the thickness that I liked. And I just threaded it through and yeah they just charged me for the two of them together so and i loved it so much i got it for paula as well as a gift so she's got her own scrolly pee so it's like a nice memento whenever i wear it, i think about that visit that we did together um yeah i think that is the last of the things i wanted to show you outside of the giveaway is it the last thing is it the last thing is it the last thing? 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 Why do I sing on my YouTube channel? Not the real point of this video, it's the press piece de resistance. I could barely say that damn word. And it is the giveaway. 
Now, you don't know how much I love vintage bags. And I love vintage designer bags. So, therefore, this is a vintage designer bag giveaway. Now, I am doing this in collaboration with a vintage designer bag reseller on Instagram. I will put her handle here. And we collaborated together to come up with a designer bag giveaway. It is this Louis Vuitton bag. It is in epi leather. It is black, obviously, duh, with brass gold hardware. Now, this is, look at this. I have never actually had an, a Louis Vuitton, well, I haven't actually had a Louis Vuitton, period, but I've never had an epi leather bag in my hand until now and you don't know what it looks like that texture there you go that is oh that's a really good shot if i do say so myself um and then this is the sides where it's got like this slightly like faux open slit sides look at the condition of this bag it is in really good nick right and then on the front here it says louis vuitton yeah it's got louis vuitton right there well, you can't see it, but just take my word for it. Louis Vuitton engraved on the brass hardware where the opening is. The only thing that I can say in terms of like, that's um, not perfect about the bag, which is where I'd want it to be, which is literally underneath the bag. See that dent right there? It's very slight, but it's more exaggerated on camera than it is in person, but I see it right there. So that's how it is if you just look at it face on. Apart from that, this bag is, it, it looks like, it's, I mean, it just looks brand new. Look, looks like you just, hold on, focus on my face, focus on this. There, an adjustable strap. If you wanna wear on its shortest length, then this is how it looks on me. And I am five foot seven for reference, and I think I've told you a lot, lot of that before, but you can obviously wearing a lot longer. Just open up this and just wear it crossbody, or like I said, just keep it just the way it is. I actually kind of like this height, just the way it is, just like that. But anyway, so this is a vintage, Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Clooney bag as a style. It has a turn lock here and opens just like that. And you just reach in, it's got like just bubble inside, but it's just like one, I'll just take the, the bubble wrap out. It's just got one opening with a side pocket as well on the inside. Let me just show you so you can see inside. Can you see that? That is the giveaway, is this Louis Vuitton Clooney bag. You can look this up on the on Google if you want to see like the original retail price of it or I'll just put it on the screen. This is going to be open to Instagram. I've done three or four. I'm going to say three giveaways already on my YouTube channel. This is the first one that is going to be on my Instagram channel. Okay, so if you're interested in having this bag and I ship worldwide, then have a look on my Instagram and I will put all the information there. Um, yeah, and then one of you lot is gonna have this bag. And I am going to be doing more uh, giveaways as well, whether it's on my YouTube channel or on my Instagram channel. Um, but as you lot know, I've been doing them mostly on YouTube, but I think it's only fair to share and put it on the Instagram as well. So yeah, if you want to have the chance of having this bag be yours, then yeah, definitely have a look on my Instagram, Karen Britchick and all the information will be on there. And okay, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say, um, except, except what? Oh, have a good weekend, as I always tell you lot. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I need to take out the label from this skirt because I can hear it. And yeah, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye, and good luck with the giveaway. Oh, and before I forget, I also got these, but I didn't think any explanation was necessary because you already saw them in Tuesday's video, but for those who haven't seen that video, got these in. They are not Balenciaga, but they are the Ugly Dad sneaker. I've been looking for a pair that I personally loved. These are a great divider. I know a lot of you hate them, and I can understand with a passion why, but as long as I like them, that's all that matters. I give that advice to everybody regarding anything that you wear. You love it, you rock it, that's all that matters. Um, so that is it, they're as comfortable as hell, um, they add two inches to your height, they make your, your legs look extra long. But I just wanna pay, pay the price of Balenciaga trainers or a designer version, a Louis Vuitton or any of that. I just wanted to get my take on it at a lower price point for me. Going about the city, walking around, wearing Converse's day in, day out, this is a great alternative and I'm loving these to wear with like little slip dresses and stuff like that. 
just the way I like to juxtapose. Anyway, I am gone now and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, check out my Instagram for the giveaway and I'm gone because I need to go into the city. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.